Hello everyone, welcome back to Stellaris. It is episode 2 in our playthrough as the Space Persians, or otherwise known as the Cerusians of Cerusia. Currently we are... I think we're going to stockpile our resources for a little bit, until at least we survey our nearest systems and then we can build additional star bases. Just recently we increased our star base capacity. Basically, <laughs> I don't really understand the the canon reasoning. Oh shit. Two planets. One is a tomb world, one's an arid world. That is unfortunate. But I don't understand the in-game canon reason for the increase in star base capacity. I feel as if someone just wrote a proposal, crossed it across the Empress's desk, she signed it, and away we went. That was basically it. There's no you know, physical limit. I, I would think the only limit would be our capacity to um, maintain them. Regardless, we are going to continue scouting these systems. Look at that. Scientist Pablash has developed new skills. What sort of skills? It's left to the imagination. I would like to imagine... Oh, I see. She's... It is indeed a she. She is now an expert in materials. Interesting. I was really rather hoping that she had perfected the skill of, like, juggling or something like that. Something that was really entertaining, you know? A feast for the eyes. Uh, okay, so currently we have a surplus of three food, and that is just barely affecting our... Barely affecting our pop growth. Uh, I would not be opposed to increasing our food situation, although it's going to take a long time until that occurs. Basically, it's going to take a long time until anything occurs. I have a feeling Team Mana is going to be our next best system, although the Duwick system has seven energy in it, which is a hell of a lot of energy. Free energy for the most part as well. I mean, of course, we have to build the uh, mining stations, but hey, there's no upkeep on said stations. Uh, let's see, we have a, an anomaly. There's a precursor anomaly here. Let's research it. Why not? We also have the capability to research uh, engineering on Duix 2A. That's it. I'm making the decision. We are not going to build a, a, a star base here because apparently we need to continue surveying it. Regardless, we will move the CNS Pajgo into the system to build that star base. Well, Man, um, how are you? How's your whole, how's your life going? I hope you're well. Me? Oh, <laughs> I'm just, oh shit, I am just looking at the Voltaum trade posts. Okay, Duix 2 was home to a small Voltaum outpost where they traded with several neighboring civilizations. Alrighty. The planet was eventually abandoned. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. At some point, the trade post appears to have been converted into a religious mission. Okay. So we know for a fact that the Voltaum at least... At least have a degree of religiosity. But sort of too much religion in the sense that they are trying to convert others to their religion. That's too much religion. Okay, there we go. The Duwick system is charted. We are now able to build that, uh, that star base. I am more than happy to get that energy as well as that material, or rather the engineering research. Eventually, eventually we can settle Duix 1 as well. It's a tiny little planet, but maybe it could come in use. Okay, for a hundred minerals, we will build that star base. Uh, what sort of edicts have we got? Map the stars is empire-wide, and we have martial law planet-wide. Not so great. Not so a great. Okay, what is this other system? The... Oh, here we go. It is the... Oh, cool system. Oh, cool! Another system! That's kind of what I imagine it is. Okay, you know what? We may as well build another star base in the Tirmana system as well. I'm fairly certain we need to do this in order to claim... Claim it for out, like to extend our borders, essentially. 
Although I'm not entirely sure whether... Yeah, outposts do not count towards this cap. My mistake, I can actually build as many outposts as I want. I just need the minerals. That has been rectified. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm recording this before I uploaded episode one, so I'm hoping that there aren't, you know, a couple epi a couple comments just being like, you fucking dope. Construction outposts. Complete. That's basically... Some, that's kind of what the comments are like sometimes. Okay, we've built that star base. We may as well. Uh, let's get that research immediately. Man, the fucking Okul system was very small. It's one star, two planets. Okul 1, of course, being barren. Okul 2, being toxic. Yikes. Uh, let us... Let's see. I'm actually going to survey... Some of these choke point planets, or rather these choke point systems, so that we get a better idea of what is going on. I also would like to research black holes because as far as I know, actually let, let's just start over here. As far as I know, black holes basically always give you a fairly large amount of research. Okay, we've extended our borders to the Dewick system, and it's looking nice. Although, the yellow and pink, I'm not so hot on. I would have preferred a nice, dark burgundy like our flag, but they've stuck us with, with the old pink. The Poland pink. Complete. Okay, uh, we've now got that research. Let's go for the energy. As I said, there's no harm in stockpiling the resources for now. We can't really... Okay, we have actually finished a pop on the planet. Let's go for a hydroponics farm and then we can go for more minerals. I usually I tend towards minerals over energy primarily because energy is used for maintenance so really you only need a small net positive and eventually you just amass a ton of credits. Whereas minerals you need just a fuck ton to build, well, star bases now, star ports rather, um, as well as your ships for your fleet. Okay, we now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Sigurusia. Okay, so this is the Xeno, the, the Habitable Worlds survey. Let's begin. Updated. Uh, right, we're going to have to discover some worlds in order to complete that mission. Okay, so that's now 12 energy. I think we'll leave the Duic system for now. We'll go to Tirmana. Build an outpost there. Oh shit. Okay, so, so some stuff has happened. First of all, we have a new tradition. I am not opposed to... Let's go for master shipwrights. That will increase our build speed, reduce upgrade costs. That can only benefit us the earlier we get it. The more we upgrade ships, the more they cost, so on and so forth. Okay, our scientists have leveled up across the board. Excellent, let's take a look. So we are still 15 months from improved Corvette hulls, nine months, seven months away from uh, planetary unification and physics labs, respectively. What else is going on here? Uh, how many points are we getting? We are currently at 8.44, 7.5, and 13 for engineering. So we are, obviously we have a significant advantage in engineering, but we will get these, uh, these physics points pretty soon. Um, so we're sitting on some minerals. Let us, we may as well build a Corvette or two. Well, I'm going to go with one Corvette because 145 minerals ain't nothing to snort at considering our monthly gain is only 18. Wow. All right. As far as traditions are concerned, the next one I would like to get is... It's probably got to be Rite of Conquest so that we can unlock war games. That will increase fleet command limit and fire rate, and both of those seem to be pretty reasonably useful at this point. 
Okay, an abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this planet. No, not aimlessly. Let's research it. Uh, I have yet to actually look at this. Let's just take a brief moment together to take a take a gander. So we are looking at the Bogswas Bogwas Squadron. Uh, which... Okay, so we can create a new fleet. As far as I... Oh, this is a fleet template. Oh, I see what's going on here. Let's delete this template. Can we do that? Is that possible? Right here. Delete template. Boom. So, the Bogwas Squadron is a template. Its home base is in the Yabra Station, and it has... Five Corvettes. Let's see if this works. Will it automatically... Oh, interesting. There's a reinforced fleet. Oh, this is really handy. This is very handy. Uh, okay, so I am... ...seeing that we have a command limit usage of 20. And it looks like there is a Corvette limit... Oh wait, no, no. We have three of five Corvettes, my mistake. So potentially we could have 20 Corvettes... ...in this... ...template. As it is. Uh, what else we got going on? Retrofit, we can swap designs. We can look at design details. Okay, very interesting. The Schlagler class Corvette. Very nice. As far as we know, we don't have any admirals. Let's fix that. We're sitting on quite a bit of... ...energy, so we, we are able now to... Uh, okay, so it looks like 80 years old is the age we need to begin worrying about death. Let's see, should we get an... I think we want cautious. An additional weapons range will help. There we are. Alarig, can we... I was hoping to give him a title. I think Admiral Alarig is his title. And he is the commander of the Bogwas Squadron. Okay. Let's reinforce the fleet. Oh, no. Okay. So I misunderstood what, what happened there. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to get that one ship. And it looks to me as if it will reinforce automatically. Very, very interesting. Moving on, though. We're going to go to the Tirmana system. We want to get that physics we want to get these minerals, and then finally we want to get the energy. Looks like we're going to have an abundance of energy immediately. Complete. Uh, is this really everything here? Wow, okay. Looks like Walzerin is a disappointing place. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Hyxeros 3. Okay, so that has given us 67 engineering points. Which is pretty significant. That's 10%. Uh, or just shy of 10% of our current research towards improved Corvette hulls. Oh boy, what's going on with the Empress? Let's knock on the door. Empress? And then she says, Ooh, come in. That's obviously what she sounds like. Um, I hear you want to import and export. Yes. What would, what would she like to import and export? What is it the Cerusians lack? Uh... We have food, we have minerals, we have energy. But do we have entertainment? Oh! That was creepy as fuck. Technology secured. Okay, there's a new anomaly in Hyxeros 4. It seems there is a... Small planetoid. And its orbit is too stable to be natural. Let's research that as well. Okay, we have researched physics labs. And now I think we'll go for automated exploration. That will A, increase our survey speed and also allow us to just automate it so I don't have to babysit good old Pablash on the CNS Workta. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into into a stable orbit around Hyxeros 4. Which gives us an engineering bonus. Excellent. Uh, okay. We have yet to complete the starbase around Tirmana 4. 
or rather tier mana, my mistake, the star. Um, although it is certainly coming along. My little ships are going at it like the uh, fabulous motherfuckers they are. Okay, we've got two more techs. Uh, namely, Planetary Unification, which has unlocked an additional edict. Or rather, they've unlocked campaigns. Very interesting. Uh, that seems to be new. I haven't seen that. Which also increases our monthly unity. Let's go for another. Ooh, this is tough. Do I want genome mapping for growth speed? Or do I want a bio lab? Yeah. I think we'll go for growth speed first. The more pops we have, the more resources. And we have unlocked... Some new Corvette hulls, and now we're left with some pretty subpar choices. I'm going to go for Afterburner so that we can increase our evasion on the Corvettes. Uh, Alright, so that will be done very shortly. Let's take a look at Cerusia. This planet has buildings that can be upgraded. That's fair. Okay, that's new. That's interesting as well. So we can upgrade <laughs> this to a physics lab, which would be not ideal. This ought to be a bio lab, first and foremost. Uh, unfortunately, there is not much else to be done in Cerusia, although I will clear away this tile to free up those two energy. So on and so forth. Okay. The Cerusian... Look at that. We finally got our symbol on the map. We've got our name, the Cerusian Star Empire. Excellent. I'm a little... I'm, I have to admit, I'm a bit at a loss as to what we ought to be doing. I just really want to get into contact with other empires so that we can complete our ambitions of, you know, of, of subjugating <laughs> other peoples. That's really what's in my heart at this particular juncture. I guess we could look at colonizing this second planet. It hardly seems worth it though just because it's so small. It's very disappointing. Okay, so... Tile blocker cleared. To upgrade to a starport, it requires 240 minerals. And remember, that is reduced due to our supremacy. Okay, we have... Finished the... Oh, that's right. We reinforced the fleet. I think in the Yabra station... I think I may build a trading Star hub. System. Although, I I feel like... Oh, I totally forgot that we could change this building as well. We have crew quarters, which reduces our dock. Uh, rather, reduces our ship upkeep. I would not be opposed to switching for a hydroponics bay just to get as much pop growth as possible. Although... Okay, so this stuff previously was somewhat represented when you had like uh, defensive platforms and whatnot, which I think are still... Yes, here we go. Th these are still in the game, but it looks like they don't have... Yes, okay, so sorry, I'm trying to explain this. At one point, those were a separate module on these defense platforms. Looks like... It looks to me they removed that from buildable defense platforms and they've now moved that capability or rather, those capabilities to star bases. Um, I think maybe this is a bit of a mistake, but we're going to switch this crew quarters, turn it into a hydroponics farm to increase our food output so that we can then begin to get better growth. Although, that will only increase... That will only increase our pop growth by 0.06, which is not not ideal, but my thought is every little bit helps at this current time. Okay, we're finally taking a look at the black hole. Let's uh let's watch this emerge. It looks daunting as hell, and I have to say, Pablash is the bravest material engineer in space that I know of. There are many, but she and she alone is the best. Okay, so that's three physics research in the Zentaris black hole. And interestingly enough, 
<laughs> this makes it much more difficult to flee, it seems. Um, or maybe you'll get stuck there. It's hard to say. Okay, Hixaro 7 has a ton of engineering research. I'd be very interested in getting that. But before we do that, let us increase our mineral wealth. Or rather, our mineral uh, income would be the word. For some reason, I was thinking export. That's not the right word in any way, shape, or form. All right. Cerusia. Still many moons away from getting another pop. Once we get this fellow, we really should throw someone on this uh, mining network. Yabra has added that hydroponics bay, increasing our food, and that should bring us to point one. Yeah, it's not ideal, but it will do. All right. What else can we do, huh? Not much of anything, unfortunately. We've yet to get any factions. Oh, you know what? Let's look at campaigns. I completely forgot about that. Is it a planetary edict? It seems to be empire-wide. Here we go. Oh, yes. Education campaigns, so on and so forth. I am familiar with the uh, these ideas. Although these seem to be, for the most part, new. Education campaign increases leader experience gain. Recycling campaign reduces consumer goods. Healthcare campaign increases growth speed by a fuck ton, but it costs a thousand credits to accomplish. Well, that is certainly interesting, isn't it? A thousand credits is nothing to sneer at. That's quite an amount. Quite an amount. Um, all right. Wurgta. The CNS Wurgta, my mistake. I should really be more professional. These are professional space scientists and they are really putting putting their necks out uh, to do this research you know they could go to my fucking god it's a comet <laughs> a small celestial object with a pronounced gaseous and particulate tail was recently observed in the Yabra system its passing was uneventful oh it is a good omen I was really expecting something negative holy shit that comet was more than enough to push us, push us over the edge. Uh, okay, do we really need a reduction in claim influence cost? I feel that is not immediately useful. Let's reevaluate. Expansion increases colony development speed. Capital buildings in, uh, produce unity. Starbase influence cost reduced by ten. Again, starbase capacity increased. New colonies start with additional pop. The effect on increased tradition cost caused by number of colonies is reduced by 20%. So, uh, more traditions with more colonies, basically. Although, what about harmony? Okay, harmony will increase pop growth speed by 25%. That is, that has immediately caught my eye. <laughs> Also, I very much like the idea of increasing the leader lifespan. Leader lifespan and leader level cap. So perhaps what we need is supremacy, domination, and harmony. Three trees. Uh, and we may mix and match. Although, completing supremacy will unlock war doctrines. I'm not entirely sure what those do. Completing domination will mean that technology is shared between us and our vassals. Very interesting. Completing harmony will increase the happiness of all pops by 10%. I think this will come into it the more we vassalize, annex, and integrate, so on and so forth. It just makes sense RP-wise in my mind. Anyway, I'm going to adopt it because I want pop growth. The more pops the better. There we go. That's a little bit better. It looks like we gained like... Yeah, it was like 0.25, basically. <laughs> Which makes sense. The math works out. Uh, they did the math. Alrighty. I think at this point we are going to continue down our... Motherfuck, what is this? 
by chance, by mere chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. Oh my god. What if it was like, uh, just an endless broadcast, a marathon, if you will, a celestial marathon of, uh, I Love Lucy? Wouldn't that be great? This source appears to be a small object in orbit. It's my dick. Uh, let's research that, of course. Let's get the CNS Pash go to build yet another mining uh, mining station. There it is. And we'll do the same for Paragir, my mistake. Of course, we ha we'll have to build an outpost there, but I would actually like to save up a, a bunch of energy, and I may do one of those campaigns. The... Was it the health campaign for pop growth? Again. I'm all about pop growth. <laughs> the issue there is I think pop growth affects the... Okay, it doesn't affect technology. Does it affect unity and traditions? Uh, no. Interesting. Oh, it's a mummified pilot. My god. The mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found drifting in high border orbit over Irgel 4. A tragic fate, indeed. I can only imagine what that... Well, what was going through that person... That person said at that particular moment. Although, that begs the question. Are they a person? Are they? Okay, uh, increased pops. I feel that has an effect somewhere on something, but I can't quite recall. But regardless, we're going to stack them up. Fucking stack them up. The more we have, the better. Okay, yet again, we have increased our food. Now our pop growth is... It has yet to update. Or am I incorrect? Oh no, there it is. 0.15. Very good. Okay, so we have... Pretty immensely affected our pop growth already. Shit, look at this. A colossal impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface of this moon once. It's my dick. No, it's not. I apologize for my immaturity. <laughs> I should really be more, uh, a little, uh, high, high-minded about the whole, uh, in deep space aspect of this game, you know? I should really be channeling my inner Star Trek. Although I have to admit, haven't been a big fan. Have not been a big fan. I remember watching um, the Star Trek films as a kid on VHS. Um, mostly the... Basically the Patrick Stewart ones in my household were watched first. And then we worked backwards, you know, and started with the original Star Trek films. And I will never forget the one where they went back in time to save the whales. It's a bit more complicated than that, but that's essentially what had happened. And and that one, ooh, that one, that one's a, that, that one's a good one. <laughs> that's a good, it's not, I must admit. Okay, a massive crater on Irgel to be appears to be, ooh, to be or not to be appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. Uh, we have picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash site, reminiscent of a collapsed hyperarticulate field. Hyperparticulate field, my mistake. Okay, so that has given us a little bit of phys uh, physics research? Good lord. Physics research. Again, 67 points is a tenth of the entire tech. Not bad at all. Okay, uh, our ship is going to be building that starport in the Paragir. Perigear system. Once again, claiming it for the Cerusian Star Empire. And hopefully we can get better placement than this. Come on. We've got it on this little dongle here. I would much rather have it front and center. Right here. You know what? I would not be at all opposed to getting another... Oh, can I not build science ships? Really? Huh. Okay. That's interesting. How wh how do I acquire other civilian ships? Oh, I see. I have to build them planet side. Very bizarre, but whatever. We'll spend 100 minerals to do that. And of course, we will need another scientist to lead the thing. Let's see. 
For 200 energy, we can hire... Teglaro. Veshbag. <laughs> Which almost sounds like an insult, or Garma. I'm fairly certain we already have military and field manipulation theorists, so I'm not opposed to hiring Teglaro. There we go. You know, at some point, maybe we can pull Teglaro off the ship and put her behind a desk to research uh, computers. Boom. There she is. It's... Oh, it's a, it's a male. My mistake. For some reason, I'm kind of thinking that all my scientists are female. Uh, I can't recall if that is the case or if I'm just pulling it out of, out of my ass, but you never know. Okay, the CNS Pagsh is now going to survey to our galactic self. And while we do that, I think we should really think about ending this episode. So thank you everyone for watching episode 2. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. As always, my name is Oka Herence. You guys are fucking awesome, and I will see you all later.